Hey there, Jeffrey here, Sephora Beauty Director, and I'm here with Dee Marshall. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. Yes, and she's here to share with us her Sephora 6. Now, we'll get to that in a little bit later, but first, Dee, you are a Black Women's Roundtable member, and you're also the Senior Entrepreneurship Advisor for them, mm -hmm. and you guys are working with Sephora to do a lot of really big things. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Sure. So, Black Women's Roundtable, first off, is an arm of the National Coalition on Black civic participation mm -hmm. and what I love about Black Women's Roundtable for people who may not know is it is really um, I would say an organization a convening of other black women leaders. And mm -hmm. so you have black women leaders who are business owners, who are nonprofit leaders, advocacy leaders, uh, faith leaders from awesome. around the globe yeah. who are really passionate about the work that they do, uh -huh. but they are also powerful voices um, for women. So that is really the makeup of Black Women's Roundtable. I love that. The Isn't that makeup, powerful? The makeup you of like Black it? Women's That's the, that. the I, I, love I used to say so is cute. some of the baddest black women on the planet. I'm obsessed with yes, that. They yes. I mean, I mean, that's the the convening of uh, Black Women's Roundtable. Awesome. It was actually founded by uh, Dr. Dorothy Height, uh -huh. and um, I think that's important for us to even share you these know, stories to share the stories and express these names, you know, so that they can be voiced and heard. Absolutely. For sure. Which really which kudos it. to Sephora that yeah. we could even have this conversation yes. in part of what you already have created here, like yes. that we could talk about that. Now you all are doing a lot of amazing things with Sephora, so tell us how you're kind of helping us look at our organization. Yeah. So, um, well, if I back up just a moment, so the okay. Black Women's Roundtable, one of the things or one of the uh, or some of the work, I should say, uh -huh. is empowering black women and girls. So okay. when you look at things like economic empowerment and self-sufficiency and stuff uh, or economic self-sufficiency, uh, entrepreneurship, um, what's also important is that third pillar of the Black Women's Roundtable, which brings us to Sephora. Uh -huh. And the work that we're doing here is to really look at uh, and help champion diversity, equity, and inclusion with Sephora. Uh -huh. So just looking at how, um, you know, how inclusive our organizations from beauty uh -huh. to tech to fashion. I mean, we've seen a lot of things uh, mm -hmm. in the public domain. And so I think it's powerful that Sephora would be, you know, uh, launching you a guidance. new Exactly. Yeah. And looking how many other from the people that we're looking to help benefit. Yeah. So that's the, I think that's yeah. the most important part is like yeah. if you're if you're looking to help somebody, you have to really hear what they need. Yes, correct? absolutely. Absolutely. Love so being that. a voice. So they really are allowing us for this platform. So it's great. Beautiful. Yeah. OK, cool. Now you're here to share your Sephora six. For those of you that don't know, these are her must have products within Sephora. And you've got some really beautiful stories to share. I'm super excited. So tell us what's up first. OK, so. I love this. Mm -hmm. It is fresh brown sugar body polish exfoliate. This is so amazing. I love this. This is so my mother. I told the story off camera that my mother got me hooked on this drug. Yes, and, yeah. you know, and, <laughs> sugar and is addictive. Sugar is addictive. <laughs> it is. So this is really powerful. And why? Because we're in uh, winter months mm -hmm. uh, in back home in mm -hmm. New Jersey. Dry skin is is a thing. Is a thing. A very so real thing. this baby here. Let me just tell you something. This is just amazing. I don't care peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the week. <laughs> I'm eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. For the week, so you just can so pop that in the there car. There you go. So, I love it. but it's really powerful, powerful for my black skin. Yes, just and say. I'll tell you, did you? It's little known fact that brown sugar is actually a natural humectant, so it pulls moisture from the word. air. That's a big word. <laughs> yes, I'll tell you, it pulls moisture from the. It's a fancy way of okay. saying that it pulls moisture from the air and puts it in the skin. So a lot like when you see like brown sugar, if you remember when you were a kid talking about it with your mom, you could see brown sugar sitting on the counter mm -hmm. and how it starts to like clump up. Mm -hmm. That's it's actually the water kind of being pulled from the air and causing it to crystallize. So it's doing mm. the same thing to the skin. It's not only softening the surface, but it's also delivering a mega dose of moisture, which I really love. Okay, so what do you have up next? Okay, this little baby, it is Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. And actually, I love this in the Intense. Uh -huh. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Yes, of course. It's a, a parfum for sure. I love yeah. that. Well, just the fact that it's Intense, it's not like that Eau du Parfum. Yeah, you know? yeah. You feel did like I you say that right? Like it. Yes, you did it. Amazing. Do, yes, it, you do it. it. Eau du Parfum. <laughs> no, this is Intense. So I absolutely love this. It makes me feel like a girl, uh -huh. and I have become addicted to this as well. For I sure. 
purchased it last year for the first time. And then, um, you know, I received a couple gifts. But this little size is cute. This is good gift size. Yeah, if I would you say. Wanna, if you really want to stretch your friends up and they're right, like they're salivating over Coco Chanel. Yeah. Who is salivating <laughs> over this? Of course, it's you a could, classic yeah. for sure. Yeah. And this looks amazing on any bureau. I'm sure you like you keep it out on display, right? Like, I have all my bottles. How uh, you so know? luxury. I just feel it. We vibe, girl. I mean, we're on the same page. I love you. There okay. you go. Okay, so what's next? This is so important. Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and it's uh, oil-free, and it's an SPF 30. Mm-hmm. Now, I may sound like I really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All I know funny. is this is important because of the color, and I'm going to tell you why. As okay. a black woman, yeah. it's really important to find the right foundation, mm-hmm. and so my mother, who is a legendary makeup artist. I know. I'm yes. like shaking in my boots yes. over here because I'm sitting in the presence of royalty. I'm like, Ooh. I'm like oh, I love that. <laughs> but this is important. It's important for black women. Like, it's a big thing, and so yes. much so when I've gone to Sephora and it's out of stock, I'm not happy. Yes. But what I've said is the sister's got a hold of it. For sure. Pretty much. Finally. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. it's good to know that, you know, there's finally awareness to the, the inclusion and, and how large our shade ranges have become. You yes. know what I mean? It was never a topic of conversation, but now everybody's on board. I feel like there's almost a new standard, mm-hmm. if you will, you know? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, and I think the standard is to make sure in all aspects of fashion and beauty and business that there is, uh, that you've thought from an inclusive standpoint. Mm -hmm. So whether you are designing foundation, making sure that hues range from darker skin to lighter skin. Akila, who works here for Sephora, she's one Mm -hmm. of the interns, super cute. She is an Indian woman and Uh she mentioned she still has challenges finding um, the right hue. So, So so this is why this conversation is it moves from fun and fashion and beauty to mm-hmm. something really much more substantive and yeah. about representation and that people are thinking when you are creating people are thinking about others all women you know? and that's that's the black women's round Truly. table piece that's what we do obsessed yeah. with yeah. that obsessed with that okay so what's our next product this one so, looks kind of okay. fun yes it's lily lashes living my best life collection okay in fact i'm actually wearing them cuz i'm obsessed with lashes, and I'm wearing the style that's called MILF. Yes, now these are fun and flirty for sure. Yes. And I love that you can really see them behind your glasses. Like, I think that that's definitely part of your steez. I love, like, the frame of your your glasses with these beautiful lashes coming through. That's yeah. gorgeous. I love. And, yeah. and you know what I like about this? This is a cute gift because it's in a cute little box. Mm-hmm, for like, sure. Like, this is, you know, I definitely. like things show that, that the camera I don't for even sure. know. Like, show, you know. Show the kids. Yes. <laughs> I love this. Yes, of course. And then it comes in all kinds of different styles. So you have like Yes Queen here, How which cute is like is a this? I know, which is like a really fun like fluffy teddy bear with a wispy on the corner. And then you've got this one here, which is called Sis. Love, love. this right here. Love. And it's lit. Now these are um, definitely a 3D stack. So you can you can see that there's multiple f- uh, fibers sort of laid on each other. So you get a really full effect. Mm-hmm. And I really feel that that kind of gives that last little bit of drama and maybe, you know, boosts the eye and pulls a little bit of attention there, which I love. It looks gorgeous on you for sure. Thank you. So what I love about these lashes, I'll tell you a trick. So on occasion, Uh I have an MUA do my face, like today. Like I was beat by the fabulous Jeffrey. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) But I've learned a trick. So if you can't afford an MUA and you're Uh just an everyday girl, but you want, uh, you know, the face like Jeffrey beat your face, (laughs) you get these really heavy or quality lashes uh-huh, and like do a heavy liner. Fluffy lash, exactly. Big line. And it gives a look like, yeah. Yeah, like for sure. Somebody beat my face, perhaps. So, yeah, exactly. so when I invest in the, I mean, I, I wear them all the time and I repurpose them. I peel off the little glue. So, uh-huh. Are you impressed? I'm yes, I mean, girl. you are just like really like showing me all the tricks. Yeah, I peel I mean, off that glue. Again, I'm telling you, she comes from royalty. This is like makeup artist lineage right here. So she knows what she's talking about. My legit. mom would be so, she's going to be so tickled to hear this. It's beautiful. <laughs> So I love that you said the next product is really, um, you love to apply when you need that little extra boost of confidence. So tell Mm -hmm. us about the next product and why you love it. Yes, so it's Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, Mm -hmm. and it's a lip paint. Mm -hmm. This is the Stunna Lip Paint, and this is in the shade Uncensored. I love this. First mm-hmm. of all, I love the packaging. Mm-hmm. And and then I'll I'll go on to say it's Rihanna. And of so course. Rihanna is um, <laughs> a champion yes. of inclusivity. For and she's sure. a, right. And so because she's a woman of color, mm-hmm. what this means to us as a black woman, and mm-hmm. if I, you know, had to really um 
anchor back to Black Women's Roundtable, mm -hmm. it's we watch to see what brands are really representing mm -hmm. women of color, mm -hmm. carrying women of color. We don't want to just be a consumer. So we don't want to just buy product, but we love to create product and we want to be a part of the conversation. Exactly. And, exactly. And, yeah. Exactly. So this is important. But one of the things that um, I shared off camera was I am a loyal girl to certain brands. But red lip, whatever the red lip of the year or the season is in Sephora, I will buy it. Uh -huh. However, as a this. black woman, if there is a black woman owned product mm -hmm. on the shelf, I want to support. Love that. I feel like in the past it's been hard for black owned brands to really, you know, break into these type of markets. And I and I really feel proud that Sephora is yeah. helping to champion and bring more and, you know, really support this community because, you know, there's only one way for it to grow and that's mm -hmm. to really funnel and really support it. And so that's what we're really trying to do here too, which mm -hmm. I love. And Rihanna's definitely showcasing that. I think mm -hmm. that she's like a really prime example, mm -hmm. you know, of how one idea can really change an industry, which yeah. is is beautiful. Good point. Yes, that's for a sure. good point. Yeah. Now this particular lip product is, I mean, it's definitely a stunner for sure. They call it the stunner lip paint for good reason because, uh, of course, you see it's like a beautiful brightening red, and that's what I always love that you said is that anytime you you need that extra boost of confidence, yeah, you reach for your red lip because you feel like it brightens your smile. Mm -hmm. You do a lot of public speaking, so it really brings a lot of attention to mm -hmm. your mouth and focuses on your words, and it really you know supports what you are trying to say. Yes, and Remember I said this, so if I'm overdue for a teeth cleaning, uh -huh. I will re wear <laughs> yeah. a red lip because it, no, my teeth are whiter just from the red lip. Yes. I won't do a nude. So anyway, I know, you have the there brightest smile on the block. Yeah. I love it. How about the tips here? Yes, for sure. Okay, so now on this last one, I knew we were going to be friends. <laughs> like when I saw this pick on your list, I was like, she's a girl after my own heart. I'm a fan. Okay, so this is from Artiste and it's the Elite Mirror 5 brush set. Now, this is your last of your Sephora 6. Tell me why you love these. Because it just kicks your whole life up another level. It's so when you legit. hear, when you hear legit. Talk, people talking about up leveling your look, <laughs> and really, I will say how you feel as a woman. Like mm -hmm. you progress along a journey of beauty. I think like when you start, you buy the lipstick at the flea market, and then yeah. you evolve into mm -hmm. the Savora store. Mm -hmm. And with all of your products, like lashes, you know, everything is progression. Mm -hmm. So brushes are the last thing. Or at least for me, it's mm -hmm. like I'm not I'm not buying brushes okay. for, to apply my lipstick because I was talking to some of the other uh, ladies uh, mm -hmm. at Sephora. I got my finger for that. Here's my yeah, finger. Here's I love my that. finger. You know, but, you got your tools. But when you want to go to another level, do you look yeah, at this. she's like, she's trying to elevate the look game. Look at it, and I love this. and the application is uh, better with brushes. Yes, for sure. The RT that's a hash ha sidebar. That's a hashtag. That, it's better, better with, with brushes. better with brushes. I okay? love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but legit, like Artiste really does. I love that you said it levels up your look. Like, yeah. It just kind of takes it there and gives you that professional quality that you can't necessarily always access with your fingers. Now, they're, your fingers are great when you're on the fly, but like you said, if you've got somewhere to go or you really want that extra boost of confidence, even the tools that you use can elevate that experience, yeah. right? Now, um, Artiste brushes are actually, it's kind of crazy because these are not actually like brush hairs. They're more of a microfiber, which uh -huh. is really cool. So they are really densely packed and hold quite a bit of product and are really great for blending, kind of smoothing product on the skin. So gorgeous. They I love this They feel so good. Yes, they, they really do. They look good and they feel good. Mm -hmm. And this one takes off at least 10 years. Yes, for sure. This I'm is sorry. The, I'm, that's not the, the most, truth. Yes. That is not the, the truth. It, <laughs> the, but it's it, legit. Yeah. This and a little bit of concealer, you'd be really surprised. <laughs> I'm upset. It's age defying. <laughs> yes. Well, that's it. pretty much everything. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, D. It was a, truly an honor and a blessing to have you on the channel. Actually, I, it was a blessing for me, mm -hmm. and I will say for National Coalition, for Black Women's Roundtable, I think it really sends a message, a powerful message for Sephora to welcome us in, to have really an, a different kind of conversation around truly, beauty. Yes. And so we're excited about what might be coming um, in the future to make 
make sure that brands are being more responsible around mm-hmm. diversity, equity, and inclusion. So thank you, my friend. Obsessed with that. <laughs> you heard it here first. So stay tuned for more videos like this as we continue to champion inclusivity on this channel as well. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're curious about the roundtable and want to learn more, be sure to check out the link in the description box so you can kind of um, travel to their website and find out more. Um, D, you're going to be in the comment section. So if you have any questions for D, be yes. sure to shout those out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Press the button. You want to hang out with us on Sephora. So we'll see you next time. And thank you for hanging. Bye.